Hey, Todd. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. You too. You have a, a lovely you... green room back here. Awesome. Yeah. Some place to hang out. <laughs> Very comfortable in your own home of the green room. Yeah. You've did you uh, did Nick extra... adhere to your writer for like the green M&Ms and Skittles? He did. did take out all I don't want pizza though. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, see, we put that in all of the green rooms just to just to test people. It's to I suss them. I like I'd yeah. have to be in the right mood for it. I think it kind of depends on what beverages are being served. Um, Interesting. No, so pineapple I mean, pizza maybe doesn't go well with red wine. Yeah, you don't want the acid in there. It's too much. Um, okay, Todd, let's get a quick intro and then let's get into it. Awesome. Uh, Todd Trebek from Citrix. I'm the managing director of strategic alliances for us. So I manage partnerships and specifically uh, my biggest one for a while here has been working with AWS. Uh, on the new release of our, our desktop as a service offering for Amazon Workspaces Core. So we're thrilled to have that live and generally available for everyone out there and customers already adopt. So very much so. So I think we should break it down. First, yes. we have Citrix DAS, we have Amazon Workspaces Core. Right. Citrix DAS is in one sentence, how would you explain it? Um, Citrix DAS is our is a desktop as a service offering. It's built on 35 years now of Citrix providing people flexible technology for new ways to work. Right? And so if you recall, and I'm going to date myself a little bit here, back in the 90s when people would get off an airplane between flights and run to a payphone and plug in their computer and download email with a remote access server connection, that was Citrix, right? So Way back then, we were helping people kind of do their job when they weren't in the office. And we've continued to, you know, lean into that over the years. What we do with DAS is help virtualize applications and desktops um, for customers and, and protect the data and the apps that people need to access from wherever they are on the board. I love it. I just got a history lesson because I never yeah. knew that was a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, was, I was actually uh, flying I'm yesterday. Alive. I don't think I recall seeing any pay phones in any of the terminals now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, now you can just download it on the plan with Wi-Fi. But back then. Yeah. Now you got to stay in it. touch while you're on your flight. Right. Yeah. You can't just take a nap. Yeah, connectivity. <laughs> you can't just take a nap is really the real <laughs> the real fallout of that. Um, so I we have. using to... Citrix back in the day. Um, for really? A remote app. Yeah. Believe it or not. Um, you know, I wasn't always this cool. Uh, I mean, Citrus was, it Citrix really enabled the ability cool. to access applications without needing to have your computer. And it made traveling a lot easier instead of having to lug around a giant laptop. Um, you know, you can go to a library or something. Actually, a lot of uh, my schooling used Citrix now that I think about it. I mean, if you go to the doctor ever, uh, they're probably logging in to update your records through Citrix. Uh, I try not to. But yeah, sure they are. Are. maybe you should, Kyle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe consider the doctor as like a to do list item for, for this for 2026. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're taking Citrix DAS and yes. Workspaces Core. Yes. And we're blending them together. Yes. To make an awesome sauce of functionality and extensibility of something that you know and love to something that you're going to get to know and love. Which mm -hmm. is um, to create this flexibility. Yes. So I want to hear from the two of you, since Gigi, you can't interview yourself. Gosh. I can't. I could probably, but I so, shouldn't for everyone else's sake. You'd be like, why is she talking to herself? Yeah. Um, so what Citrix customers can use this new functionality with Workspaces Core? That's right. I mean, <clears throat> for us, you know, flexibility is a huge part of what we do for customers. I mean, the main things they'll say they use Citrix for is security, uh, you know, access to their applications, protecting their data. But we, we really like to talk about flexibility. And so Workspaces Core is an awesome place to run Citrix workloads. It was really built for virtualization products like that. Right? So um, we, we definitely wanted to tap into that and make sure that our products could run there uh, so our customers can, you know, use this great, powerful, scalable infrastructure um, meant for a product like ours from AWS. And so we're, we're really excited to be there. Um, I think, you know, we've already, we've already worked together GZ, with a lot of customers, uh, you know, throughout this process. And I think, you know, the benefits that they talk about often are 
you know, they, they think this is a big cost savings for them. Um, you know, they are getting really a flat rate, you know, expense for compute from AWS to run with us. Um, they can bring their own Microsoft 365 and office entitlements to it at no extra cost, which is a huge big deal uh, on AWS. Um, we've built this great rapid deployment uh, process together. It's like a five-step deployment process. Mm -hmm. I'm not super technical. Um, I can even deploy our users onto Workspace. It's well. true. He um, can. It's easy enough <laughs> that I can do it. Um, Don't you just I love that Gigi would call you that if you could? When Todd, Todd, to just to fill one more gap, yeah. Citrix customers that have the universal license today can use it as soon as they're ready. It's available. It's it's been in, it was in public tech preview earlier this year. Now it's GA as of August, mid August. Um, but anyone who has that license with you guys already, any one of our customers who has a DAS license today can deploy users on Orange Days. That's beautiful. Pretty cool. And I think just one more piece to add. So we say on Workspace's core, some of our viewers might know what Workspaces is, which is AWS's native desktop offering. We kind of chopped the head off and put Citrix on top and said, I like to think of it as like a little Lego man that now has a different a different face. So you can use the Citrix that you know and love or exactly. Uh, if you want to just behead him for a second to show what that means. <laughs> um, the, so you can use Citrix that you already have, those licenses you already have, but you get the back end managed aspect that Amazon Workspace's core offers. So like Todd said, that flat rate pricing that customers know and love on AWS, the use as you or the pay as you go pricing as well, the M365 benefits, the license included benefits of different OSs. There's so many pieces that together this opens up, I think, new use cases, cost savings use cases, um, and also everybody loves the, the Citrix's HDX protocol. So you get to benefit from Citrix's protocol, but with our managed, I like to call it virtual desktop infrastructure for VDI, That's which right. is not a proper name of that. I think, you know, our, our, you know, we have a lot of customers having done this for 35 years around the world. And like I said, we're always trying to help them reimagine the way they're going to have their users, their employees work next um, and how they want to enable them to work next. And we see this as like a really powerful next step in that conversation with customers too so and i see what you did there todd we see how it's powerful and that's a perfect opportunity to segue into the awesome yeah. demo and show yeah. it yeah and uh see what todd went through to <laughs> deploy it but Gigi's going to be driving um so we have here citrix DAS for amazon workspaces core yes this is just it. AWS console. Cool. Yes. So we're in the AWS console. You'll see if you look up workspaces, we're in the workspaces specific part of the AWS console. And then if you go down to core partnerships, that's workspaces core. Citrix is our big partner that we're highlighting today. And you'll see not only do you have, you know, some information on what's happening, you have a little bit of an architecture here. So you'll see if you can see that, it might be a little small in the diagram, but you link the accounts and then you do everything from the Citrix side. You can always come back to see it on the AWS console, but pretty much the whole point is you stay in Citrix once you get there and you benefit from the managed So well, that is awesome because you're making it so you don't need to become familiar with the AWS console or terms, right? You're still like, you know, your Citrix operators, engineers, administrators, they could still use what they know and love and what they're familiar with exactly um so it's almost like proxying and puppeteering uh the aws infrastructure but from citrix exactly so if we go over to the citrix DAS platform you'll see here this looks exactly the same no matter where you're running your citrix DAS. you can see yes you're doing a demo dance you. keep dancing <laughs> just in case don't stop um but so we're in the citrix DAS console you can see here we have some machines I am in the Amazon EUC demo console. So you'll see Amazon's name up here in my full name, not Gigi, but Jillian. Um, and if you come down to quick deploy, there's a whole section for the partnerships on Citrix DAS. So we're going to go into Workspaces Core. And the first thing that we give you is what Todd talked about. We have a few steps to connect your AWS account with your Citrix account. And then from there on out, you're good to go. 
So you'll create that resource location with your cloud connectors, which is a classic Citrix piece of architecture. Then connect your AWS services account. Then pick your directory, which you know it can live wherever you might need it to, but we use Active Directory here. And then some image import and deployment of desktops. So it sounds so easy, but let's see the details because I think it's actually pretty cool how simple it really is. I created a, a deployment earlier today. I think a highlight that is recent, as you'll see here, we have different desktops that are available. So we have. Did Windows you just 7. nonchalantly say I created a deployment today? Like it didn't take a lot of time. You're just like, eh, yeah, I made a I could, today. I'll create one right now. It'll it'll be deployed by the time the show's over, past ten minutes. But that's okay. Um, so you'll see here. There's actually a few features that I think are worth pointing out. Some of these have Win 10 in the name. So we have Windows 10 and Windows 11 BYOL options for the bundles that you can use in the OS. We also have server um, options. So server OS options, you'll see here server 2022. And then you'll also see there's multi-session in these names because we have single deployment and multi-session deployment based on your use case. So. Just a little teaser. We're going to do the quick walkthrough for deployments because I think that's a great way to talk about the features. Um, one more piece to understand if you're new to workspaces in general, we have the different bundles based on your CPU and storage needs. So these are some of our standardized names for those bundles. All of those are available on the Workspaces core pricing page to understand. I'll just say that's the Workspaces nomenclature, not exactly. a Citrix. Okay. Yeah, so this is a workspaces nomenclature that is now on Citrix. They did a really nice job picking and choosing what customers need to know while also making it, I think, true to your guys' interface. Um, and then one more piece here that's worth pointing out is you can encrypt your workspaces. It's the same on all of the AWS workspaces um, offerings. So let's walk through it real quick and I'll talk about each piece. But we don't There's actually that. someone on the YouTube comments, which we're broadcasting to YouTube today, which is crazy to think about as well. So if you want to catch us on oh. YouTube sometimes, yeah, Amazing. we're internationally known when I'm on the microphone. Um, they, they said, that is awesome. Our whole team uses Citrix. And I see there's no time in the VDI till now, but I found the downtime on laptop. So I'm assuming their laptop uh, went down, but their VDI was rock and solid. That sounds about right to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. um, so you'll see here with directory connections, you can have dedicated or shared. That's based on what type of um, OS you're using. So for some deployments, you might need dedicated hardware. AWS can handle that for you. You don't have to manage that at all. That's a benefit of the backend being Workspace's core. But then also you can do shared tenancy on that hardware, which would offer up a multi-session offering as well. So we'll do dedicated just to play around a little bit. We'll go through images. We have a single session image, which is like if you think of a gold standard, perfect image that you would want to vend to all of your users, that's what your image is that you're using here. So it's something that you create. You can see on the left hand side, it says images. You can go in and create whatever you need that you want to vend to people. And then when you're in the deployment process, that's when you choose which image you want as that baseline image for your users. And since this is single session, those users are, you know, it's their desktop. It's completely for them. They're going to always come back to whatever they do to, to change that desktop as it saves because it's, it's persistent. Um, here you'll see that performance option. So we mentioned that before. This is an AWS nomenclature for the different bundles, but Citrix has descriptions for what your use case might be so if you need say because like i know in the docs it gives you like similar use cases for those like we'll call them t-shirt sizes right yes um, but i like that you don't need to um <laughs> yes. go to the docs right there hey cool this is what your use case is select this one yeah and i think i think something that's really um one of my favorite things to say is such, you guys just did such a good job making this pleasant to us Trying to keep it simple. Five it's just lovely. It's just so awesome, you, know? <laughs> you, you make people's days better <laughs> with the, the, the details that you add here. Um, so you choose your performance level. You choose your root volume and user volume sizes. That's that storage data on the back end that's tracking everything that you do as a user. 
and you can pick which bundle you want there. Next, we choose encryption. So this is a classic AWS functionality where this as a managed service on the back, on the back end is offering encrypted volumes. So that's the root volume and user volume storing your data. What you can do is use AWS managed KMS keys. So AWS can handle it all for you and you can still have access to it, no problem. If you want to use a customer managed key, by all means, um, and you can use KMS to do that still. I'm going to keep AWS managing my keys though, because I always lose them. Um, <laughs> and so then um, you select how you want to create your desktops. So you can create without assigning users. That's going to give flexibility to who ends up using the desktop, or you can assign to users while creating. And that's when you then, this directory is empty, but that's when you would choose your user that would directly be able to log in immediately as soon as it's spun up. Cool. So we can have not assigned, we'll spin up two. We can edit the volume sizes if we beg to differ now. We'll name it GGB tester single session and a little review of what we chose for our different features. And then so we you moved away them. from test test one, two, one, two. <laughs> yeah. And try this one. <laughs> Maybe this one. Maybe this Hopefully one. Hopefully this one. <laughs> no. So this is my second one of the day. I did a multi-session. Now I did a single session. I think the real benefit here, like you said, though, this is going to take a minute. So I'm going to. And so what's happening here is this is interacting with Workspace's core mm -hmm. to create the Citrix environment. Yes. So like if we were to look at the AWS account in CloudTrail, which is like the who, what, where, when, and how. Yeah, of, uh, you'll see it all there. AWS, it, you'll see it like firing off, like creating resources and updating things. Yes. Cool. And I think that's, it's just a really sleek integration in that side. And like you said, a lot of times you might find the person who's doing this work in the Citrix DAS console is really, really deep on Citrix, but maybe they don't want to learn like the deeper pieces of Amazon's other or AWS's other offerings like EC2 maybe, or other places that you could run a DAS deployment like this. And so having it run on our managed service really brings that weight off their shoulders and lets them just run with it. Yeah, this is this is an awesome offering. It's so easy. <clears throat> this is in that it's any one of our customers logs into their Citrix Cloud console, they have access to this today. It's there for everybody. So I hope they will all start taking uh, advantage of it immediately. Uh, and give us feedback. We want to hear, you know, from you guys too on on stuff to add. Some of the things that are in the GA offering now came up during that preview process. So please, yes. please share with us. Your thoughts. Yeah. We want all the customer feedback. We want to hear in the chat if you're excited about this. We want you to go test it. It's available in your console. Um, and also, you know, we have documentation on both sides of the house. Lots of blog posts. Lots of webinars, all sorts of things happening to make sure any customer possible that might want to use this is getting their hands on it and giving it a go. Well, it's not every day that I get to co-host with you, Gigi, but also get to pepper <laughs> you with questions and actually have you do a demo. So sure. I feel like I, I won the the cup of uh, co-hosting. Take that, AM, Adrian. Everyone else. Yeah, you did win. You did win. If there if there is a competition and you won, um, I want to thank Todd so much for coming and joining us. I know it's Friday. You're excited to go get into your spooky season out in Oregon because it's fall like weather up here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. I'll, right, I'll see you guys at the after party. <laughs>